Hello, Caps. How are y'all doing? It's time for your reading for mid-November to December of this current year. Hope you all have been doing pretty well. I'm just throwing shit all over this table, of course, because that's what I'm good at. So anyway, hope y'all are doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty fantastic so far. If I could shuffle, that'd be awesome, but you know. Beggars, you can't be cheated on this as long as it does the job. That's the important thing. I'm still doing personal readings in case anybody wants any. Or one, or whatever the hell I'm trying to say. Right. I uh, usually do between 10 and 15 in pricing. Just keep in mind, I'm quite slow. Because I like to procrastinate. I don't move fast. I'm almost as slow as a Taurus. Taurus is a fucking slow. They take forever sometimes. But when they want to be in a hurry, they could be in a hurry, so keep that in mind. Jeez. Some of you were having some issues sleeping. Lots of distractions, it seems like, because cards are flipping like a motherfucker. I didn't notice that one. There's a lot of fighting, and everyone's missing the goal. And they should be fighting for the goal. Nobody wants to do that, apparently. Coworker said something very interesting to me. She says, I'm not really good at, I don't listen to anybody. And it's just like, that's true. But I do listen to you. I just don't listen because, like, I decided I don't need it. That's all it is. Like, I listen to shit, only if it's necessary, or required, or the best solution to a case. That usually gets me in a lot of shit, so let's try to keep out of that. No whammies. Alright. Capricorns, let us continue. Lay all these beautiful, spectacular cards out. Jesus, fuck. Ah, there we are. <coughs> Ooh. Excuse me, I had like three cans of ravioli a while ago. Well, not all at once. Like, over like, I'd say like a four hour period because I've been up for a while. I just finished my third one. And it's just like, oh, I love ravioli. I know it's bad for me and the baby, but the baby likes ravioli. So it's like, I don't, I don't know what else to do. One of the few foods, foods I can't eat, really. So, let us shuffle these cards up and, like, see what they say for the next, like, so many days, Caps. Right? Right. So, we got someone feeling really insecure. Right at the very top of the Four of Pentacles. But they're wanting to work something out. They're trying, well, I don't even think they're insecure. Maybe they're actually trying to keep the securities. They're looking this way, because there's a hand right there, but that's walking with them like, oh, it's okay, you still got time, man. You still got time. Like, maybe they're being a little paranoid about working something out, or something to do with work, your skill, your effort. Maybe you feel like you're not in, in, in like, you have familiar territory, I feel like. Like, this is a card about skillmen, craftsmanship being in your element with what you work on and I feel like you know you're comfortable with your element but I think you're just sticking to what keeps you more secure even though this card's telling you you could probably stretch out a little farther and see what you're capable of like you could be secure you don't have to dip your feet in but there is a chance that you could cause something to work out for you and down here is the tower where someone's trying to face or avoid facing the reality. Like, they haven't hit reality yet. The tower is not smacked into them. Someone already has. This person has not <coughs> gotten right here. And this could also be a king of pentacles. Possibly Capricorn. Could be also Taurus and Virgo. Someone who's being much of a provider right now. Somebody who's kind of acting like a little bit of a con man. Maybe not entirely honest. Maybe too stuck on themselves. Too self-involved. Um... 
definitely could be a Taurus in that, but I don't know. Like, I, like, I, I feel like it's more of someone taking on the energy than someone behave instead of the zodiac sign, you know? Like, someone's behaving that way, like they're stuck on themselves and they don't want to... Like, they're doing the duck face, right? Because that's what the King of Pentacles does. He duck faces. And... <clears throat> You know, he is very, he thinks he's cute. He thinks he's cute. Then we got the Page of Swords, right? Who's in this position of paranoia when it comes to this security with working something out and like this lack of the truth moment with this King of Pentacles reverse, right? I feel like they're being paranoid and they want to be victorious. They feel like they need to defend themselves. Or down below, someone might be celebrating or even a third world situation with a Scorpio. There might be people involved in this scenario, right? Capricorn? Like, the old needs to die. Like, like that's really what's going against you. I feel like there are emotions here about like, oh, look at what a good time we have. And then Scorpio comes in and is just like, oh, whack, it's dead. He's dead on the ground. You see this guy right here? That's who this is. He's on the ground. He's dead. Don't argue with me again, you know? Came in and just started killing shit. Like, that needed to end. But it's like someone is having a hard time letting that go. This possible third wheel connection or this need to be happy and celebrate. And now they're being paranoid and watching out on all this shit because they want to defend themselves. Mind you, here's our card over here. We're just sneaking in the DM like it's the DMs. Like, <laughs> what can I do here? You know? Like, this devil is totally coming into this situation. In this scenario. Like, I think that's hilarious. We're just sitting on the sidelines being like, Ooh, I gotta pee, but I need to watch this shit. Oh, then we got the Queen of Wands up here with this... Oh, my bad. We have the Magician up here reversed where someone feel, is afraid that they can't manifest... Or they're, like, failing at manifestation in the ways that they're hoping for. But, there's still the Queen of Wands here. She's not reversed, so. This person might ha be having troubles um, manipulating, adapting, causing things to happen. But she's still keeping her composure. She's not losing her temper, and she's not losing her mind. Like, this could be Sagittarius, Leo, Aries as well, or someone just emulating that energy. And below that, which is the catalyst as well as the end, somebody... Who is not being nurturing or kind or loving with the Empress Reverse. Like, maybe someone's pregnant, but they're not dealing with the pregnancy the way that when the thing... Oh, dear. Two cards popped up. And I'll have to use possibly those two cards. Uh, this Empress person is definitely in a bond situation. <laughs> possibly with us. There's both of us right there. And the ending theme is happiness, the happily ever after. When it comes to possibly Capricorn or a bonded situation. Which is confusing the shit right now to me as I'm looking at it. Like, what? Okay, someone was a happily ever after. With the devil? Is, is, is that what I'm reading? Right now? Hmm. Can a magician not manifest into the Queen of Wands? Like, not being nurturing could also be, like, be bonded situation as well. Like, holding back on your actual emotions. Like, not being as kind or considerate as you usually are. That could also be one, too. But there's definitely no balance in this at all. Could also be dealing with a Libra as well. Capricorn. Oh, can't wait for a nap. There could also be some emotional manipulations in this. Which is probably why it's not very fair, you know. Someone's definitely being greedy and uh, holding back. 
And now someone wants to charge in with some fucking worse. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Someone wants to charge in and say something. Could be us, Capricorn. Could also be a Libra, Sagittarius. Not the uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't know where I got Sagittarius from. Well, yeah, I can see Sagittarius doing that kind of stuff. Especially since it's up here, too. So, like, that's possible. But yeah, someone could run out of the mouth about how this person is just not fair. And it could be emotionally manipulating the situation. Just... So just keep your eyes open, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.